hello everyone okay we have another problem here before us square root of y over square root okay that is over y square root of y over y equals 4 so I have this to deal with don't disturb yourself what you will do is to cross multiply this times this will be square root of y then y times 4 is 4y then the next thing is square both sides sometimes learners do not know when to square you square both sides when you're trying to remove the square root sign so we have 4y in bracket squared if I remove this bracket then I have a wrong solution I will be making a mistake right Okay, so now this is going with this, so that y is equal to 4y multiplied by 4y. y is equal to 16y squared. And you are supposed to write the one with the highest power first. So we have 16y squared, then equal to y, 16y squared minus y equals what? This is equal to zero. So from here we factorize, then 16y is left in the bracket, then minus one. This is equal to zero. If you open this bracket, you're going to have this back. Now it is either y equals zero or 16y minus one equals zero. Y remains zero or 16y equals 1. At this point, we have y to be 0 or y to be equal to 1 divided by the coefficient and that is 16. Therefore, y is equal to 0 or 1 over 16. But then there's another method you could have used. Remember, this is um, the solution. But then let's look at the other methods to this. The equation still remains square root of y over y equals 4, right? I am trying to use the second method to solve this and then we compare the solutions. Now, what if the first method we cross multiplied? But this time around, let's work on this. Do you know that y square root of y is the same as y to the power of half, 1 over 2, then we have over y equals 4. Now the next thing is, this is to the power of 1. So if I pick one of the bases, according to um, one of the rules of indices, I will subtract the powers. And this is equal to 4. Now, what is half minus 1? 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2. So this is giving us 4. This is equal to 4. Now, you might be wondering, why is it giving us minus 1 over 2? This is because this is bigger than this. And half plus half will give us um, 1. So, take half out of 1, you get another half. So this time around is negative because this is less than this, right? Now, what do we do? Let's remove this negative power so that we have 1 over y, then to the power of 1 over 2, and it is equal to 4. Now, what will I do? We are interested in removing the power from here. So we have 1 over y. To the power of 1 over 2. To remove the power, you multiply the same power by its reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2. Then on the other side, we will square the 4. Now, this is going with this, right? Meaning that 1 over y is equal to 16. And at this point, you cross multiply it because this is over 1. Now, 16y is equal to 1. Divide both sides by two, um, 16. This is going 
and y is equal to 1 over 16. So this is what we have from the second method. And from the first method, we had y to be equal to 0 or 1 over 16. Now, which of these two methods is giving us um, the better solution or which of them is more suitable? Now, let's confirm. From the confirmation, we should be able to know which one is more suitable, right? Over y equals 4. Now, from the second method, we had 0. If we put 0 here, we'll be having square root of 0 over square root of, okay, over 0. Because the first, um, the numerator is square root of y, so it becomes square root of 0, and the denominator is 0. And this is never giving us 4. So this means that this value of y has to be rejected. Okay? And this means that our first method gave us a value which is not needed. Right? Take note of that. Now, let's put in the second value, which is 1 over 16. So we have square root of 1 over 16 over 1 over 16. Do you think this will give us um this will give us four because we had four on the right hand side? Where is the equation again? I think we had four there. Okay, we have um square root of y over y equals four. So there's four on the right hand side. We are looking at um how we get four from here. This is the same thing as 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 16. That is correct because square root of 1 is 1, square root of 16 is 4. Now, this is 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 16. So that this is what we have. We turn this to multiplication and we get um, 1 over 4 times 16 over 1. Now, 4 will go there 4 times, and this is giving us 4 over 1, which is the same as 4. So this means that um, y to be equal to 4 is very satisfying. And if you look at this very well, it means that um, it is only the second method that gives you only the needed solution. But the, second, the first method gave us two solutions, which are not... Um, which both of them are not needed. So if I were you, I would use the second method and get y to be equal to 1 over 16 and not y equals to 0. Thank you for watching. And if you love my video, subscribe to my channel and um, say something positive in the comment section.